Lemmy from Motorhead, he just died, and everyone, people, oh, I'm so upset. Why? His life was fucking perfect. It looked perfect. I don't understand his internal world space or what happened to him as an individual. He would have had his shit like every human. But think about it, his life. When did he get born? 1945. Perfect. Where's the Nazis? We fucked them off. I'll turn up then. Where does he get born? England. Brilliant. Not Australia, America. Bad time. Could end up in Vietnam. Not in England. We're not going. When did he get born? England, the end of World War II. The country's a bit bombed, but there's a sense of elation. The war's over. Brilliant. The food's shit, but it's always been shit, and they don't care. So he doesn't give a fuck. So he gets bored up. He reaches his teenage years. What's happening? Oh, I'll listen to Elvis Presley for the first time on Crystal Radio all the way from fucking Wales. That's good. I'll hear the birth of rock and roll. Then I might go to Liverpool and see the Beatles playing for the first time. Then I'll go and see Pink Floyd and, and The Who, and I'll hang out with Jimi Hendrix. And... Then what'll I do? Then I'll hit the age of free love and acid, so I'll take a ton of acid and fuck tons of chicks. And then I'll join Hawkwind, an acid band. In fact, I'll take so much acid that they even kick me out. <laughs> he gets kicked out of an acid band. <laughs> now acid can fuck her if you take too much, but let me, took tons of it. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'm all right. Hits the, hits the late 70s, early 80s, makes Motorhead, creates the band, which is the prototype of all thrash metal, right? Doesn't become as popular as the bands after him, but he's the godfather, the king, right? And he rocks through the 80s, rocks through the fucking 90s. What's he doing in that time? Playing metal, drinking Jack Daniels, taking speed, smoking cigarettes. What's happening? Nothing. I'm just fucking... <laughs> Rocking. Hits the 2000s, starts to get into his 60s, his 70s. He's still rocking around in tight black jeans, cowboy hats, cowboy boots. Does he look dumb? Nah, looks cool as fuck. <laughs> Pulling it off. He's an old man. Pulling it off. Fucking young girls, two big warts on his face. Perfect. <laughs> Gets to the end. Does his last tour. Goes to the Whiskey A Go Go. Gets pissed. Wakes up in the morning. Feels sick. Gets his manager to take him to the hospital. You've got cancer, next day, dies. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. What a great fucking time. Soon as World War III is on the horizon, he's like, I'm fucking out of here. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was fantastic. Because <laughs> that's, I'm just saying, it's only from my perspective. If you're going to have a terminal disease, that's the way you want it. One day. <laughs> Lemmy cancer. That's what you want. <laughs> you don't want this fucking cancer that just hangs around for years. What the fuck kind of gay cancer is that? <laughs> I had cancer for 10 years. What kind of puffed cancer have you got? <laughs> you going to kill me cancer? Nah, I just thought I'd move in. It's gonna move in and rearrange a few things, you know, like your hair and your money. Mm, put you into pain and maybe I'll kill you eventually. <laughs> Fuck that, you want, you want Lemmy cancer. <laughs> well, I'd fucking prefer if I had to go to the doctor and sorry, Mr. Hughes, I've got some bad news. What is it? I'm afraid you've got, you've got cancer. Well, what the fuck should I do? You should have a wank and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> 